Today, for Corinne, we're going to be talking about lip filler. She has um, um, a question about her lips, and we're going to be doing that today. So tell us what bothers you, or what you feel like is uneven about your lips. I do like my bottom lip. It's, it's you know, it's pretty full, but then the top kind of disappears. So I'd rather kind of even the, my lips out. More so when you smile? Yeah, definitely. Okay. So... Um, that's a real smile. <laughs> so to do upper lip in, uh, filler injection, it's fairly straightforward. Um, I, like to, I like to use cannula whenever I inject fillers. Cannulas are very long, but they're blunt. Um, so when you're injecting the filler, you only have to make one hole, and you can get into almost the entire lip with just that one hole instead of multiple stabs into the lips. So less bruising, less swelling, um, and the blunt cannula, it's not sharp, so you don't cut the, um, the um, blood vessels, and again, less swelling and bruising from that standpoint too. So I like to use cannulas, especially with the upper lips. Uh, it works really nice being able to just very smoothly withdraw the needle as you're injecting uh, nice lines of uh, hyaluronic acid. So uh, we're going to demonstrate upper lip filler injection. This is Juvederm Ultra Plus, a uh, product of Allergan. So we always start with cleaning the patient. Um, so we're just going to use a little alcohol and wipe it to clean. And then with a the cannula, you make a small hole. Just open slightly for me. Yeah. Make a small hole with the sharp needle, right when you on the side there. And then we're gonna use the after that we're gonna use this blunt cannula. It's not sharp. And we're gonna use that to get into the lip. So find that tiny little hole we just made. Now you can see the length of this needle, I can go slowly inside. Now she has not had any numbing medicine or topical numbing at all. She's just doing this um, as is. Um, the solution does have numbing in it, so it does numb as we go, but she's not using any numbing at this point. So slowly go in there. I'll get right into the middle of the lip there. So now you can see where my, my needle is, right at the cupid's bow. We're going to very slowly withdraw as we fill very slowly. I might need like a smaller one. Do you want it by the yeah. Is that, is that okay? Yeah. Now we're going to go back in again. A little bit deeper this time. You're doing really good. So very, very small amount as you go. You don't want to overdo lip fillers. We don't want that big augmented lip look. We're going to go right into the cupid's bow itself. And put one dollop right into that, right into that area there to bring that out. Get a little bit more poutiness there, and again withdraw just a little bit. Last thing will be just right into the lateral part of the commissure right there. Get a little pump in it, and then with the same needle, you can kind of just change the direction of the needle and go into the lower lip, just to do a little bit into the lower lip as well. Just to, turn up that, just to turn up the corner of the mouth there a little bit. So I always like to massage a second or two after the injection to help with swelling. And then make sure that's in. And so, you know, right away, we've only injected one side. She's done awesome. Um, Cupid's bow, a little bit along the upper part of the lip and then some of the mucosa of the lip. And then just a little bit of the lateral part of the commissure up and down um, just to turn that lip up. And you can see that before she starts swelling too much, you can see that uh, nice change in the in the uh, contours of the upper lip. So again, we'll repeat that on the other side. Um, the downside or the risk, I guess, of uh, fillers in any general location of the body is temporary swelling. Um, you know, above 24, 48 hours, you'll have some swelling and Corinne's gonna take some pictures afterwards so we can see the development of the swelling and the, and the way that it goes, um, goes down pretty quickly. Um, bruising, um, if, it, if it happens, it can be temporary, but you can get bruising. Um, and that's why I do all these small maneuvers to decrease the amount of bruising because most patients want to get out and about and not be uh, sidelined. There we go. So again, now we're going to go back. And you can kind of see the needle as it travels inside. You doing okay? Mm -hmm. Right to the cupid's bow. I'm going to do a little bit less on this side than I did on the other side because 
you had some previous filler in here, and uh, I feel like this side's a little bit more floating than the other side is already. So now I'm doing a little bit less. Let's open the first thing. Again, we'll massage. Just making that sure that the product is in there nice and even. And then with a small needle. Triangle that full calms your well, a little bit of pressure to help with swelling and discomfort I mean, and bruising. Now I assess one more time. Of symmetry with this, so you have to, it's nice to go back and forth and make sure that you're happy with the final result. The good thing is, after you've done one side, it tends to be more numb because the hyaluronic acid does have um, some numbing in it. So, when I come back this time, it should be a little more comfortable than it was the first time. A little bit more on this side, the upper part of the lid. as far as swelling too much, a little bit more massage, and then uh, and then we'll be done. We're not going to do any more of the lower lip other than the sulato curvatures. We'll let her swell for a couple of days. She'll take some pictures of that and show us, and then we'll show the final result as a pre and post before the um, at the end of the video. So, and I'll just usually give them some ice. They'll use ice for the next 24 hours um, whenever they can, and that usually helps a lot with swelling. So that was a uh, hyaluronic acid juvederm ultra plus in the upper lip and the lateral oral curvatures. Good job, Karen.